And it says we are live, which means it must be Thursday night. And it's time, of course, for God Bot Goes Live. I hope you guys are having a fantastic Thursday heading into Friday. And if you're not having a great Thursday so far, hopefully this will turn it around and have you head into a great Friday and a great weekend. Uh, happy early St. Patrick's Day for those of you who celebrate that, since this will be technically St. Patrick's Day weekend. And we have a few things tonight to cover. Um, I've kind of been staving off a, 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 the sniffles, I guess. And uh, you may notice over here I have a, a bandage. Um, what can I say? Uh, my wife explains it as vampire bite. I will tell you the truth. I had something over here that got infected and I had a doctor that had to put a needle in there and drain it. And anyway, it's kind of gross and it's covered with a bandage. I'm okay. I'm fine. But you know, the things I don't do for you guys. Last week I had a brand new haircut. This time, this time I made sure to get myself taken care of by getting a needle in the neck and getting a, it was a cyst is what it was that popped and it drained. So there's the gross start to the night, but we're going to move on and have some fun with some things. Of course, I'm your host, your humble host, your healthy, humble host, Dennis Moulton, a.k.a. Gapot. As always, please like, comment, share, of course, subscribe, man. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell because it lets you know when content of all sorts goes up here on the channel. Check out Machinery of Man, the Everything Factor. Transformers, Collectors, NL, and the Autobot family. And I'm just going to adjust that a little a little bit. Um, I'm going to set things up. We're going to get into trivia. Uh, on the schedule tonight, we only have one sheet again. We're going to do trivia. Um, I was lucky enough to get commissioned to do a second Earthrise Optimus Prime. This time, this one was uh, done by removing the silver so we're going to kind of look at them both side by side because last week i talked about what i did with my custom earthrise optimus and i left the silver and i put it to you guys if i should keep it or not and the overwhelming majority of people said keep it so we're going to see them side by side see what you guys still think we're going to talk a little bit more about cliff jumper and what's coming up tomorrow uh, I'm going to note a pre-order that I have in, something that's going to be coming on the way, not anytime soon, but it's official. We're going to talk about some news notes, everything from Skylinks to a new offering from Banana Force to uh, a couple of smoke screens and everything in between. And then we're going to talk about business as usual in light of kind of things that are happening in the world. And we all know, I think, what I'm talking about. And I got... A couple of thoughts on it, and we're going to get into all that. So it should be, uh, it's kind of like four-ish topics. Uh, nothing like last week. Last week was so cathartic. Uh, I, I had a couple of grievances to get out. No grievances tonight, man. Just good vibes and good times. Uh, before we get into the trivia for tonight, I'm going to set things up. I, I see that there's a ton of you guys already making the comments and making the rounds. Um, so I'm going to... To, to, to set this up and get the, I hope you guys, man, are having a good Thursday night. I know I said earlier that if you're not, hopefully I can turn it around, but I hope that you already are. Um, I've been having a good Thursday, man. It's nice when people, it's nice when people are having a good day, you know, it's nice, it's nice when, when things are, when things are going well. Uh, let's see here. I need to go here and there. I'm going to just take this over here and there we'll do that maybe that'll be i think i got it all set up i think we're good i think we're good um let's see what we got here um what uh hold on my miss Ooh, that might be that might be too much for what I wanted to do. Um, who? Ari the Diapered Line Cub. Hello, hello to you. Uh, Firebite, happy to see you in here, my friend. I'm glad that you've been having a great week. Coronavirus canceled my classes next week. <laughs> Grief. Canceled your classes next week. Really, Pi? Okay. Um, 
Dragonfly, I'm glad you're here, buddy. You and I were just talking a few minutes ago. Um, Firebite posted a great video today. Go check it out, guys. I guess if you haven't, don't 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 check it out right now. But after after the live show, uh, Skybite, happy you're in here, buddy. I feel like it's been a little while since I've seen you. Um, had a wart removed. Well, I guess that's I guess that's good. You don't want to keep those things around. Let's see. Um, and my condolences on it. Yeah, it's it's nothing big. It was uh, like I had this spot behind my ear for like years and uh, went picking at it finally. And I guess I must have like kind of popped it under the skin, so to speak. And it turned red and kind of, I guess, I guess got infected, inflamed, whatever. And I was like, oh, that'll go away because I'm not one of these to like run for every, you know, scrape, bump and broken bone. Um, after four or five days, it didn't. And I was like, hmm. Maybe I should go to the doctor. He kind of said, yeah, you certainly need to wait. I'll do what I can to help you out. But it kind of got to go through its course. So it's kind of going through its course now. It is what it is. Uh, MWG, happy you're here. Um, see, you, MWG got one removed last November. Um, so, I mean, it happens, man. It's not a big deal. I will survive. Um, Lego Prime Ninja, happy to see you. Maximal 10. Um what? One sheet? Oh, it's not going to be no three hours, man. Come on. Come on. Link's Master. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be predicting the future, but we're going to talk about kind of if it's business as usual in light of kind of what's happening in the world, so to speak. Event Progenitor, happy to see you here. Um, yeah, like I heads up to use words like Big D over specific name. YouTube is doing actually YouTube is not that's changing um read the letter from Susan whatever her name is but I'm gonna tread lightly and I'm not really talking about it I, I I'm really not I'm just talking about a couple of news notes and things that have come up and how it's probably gonna affect us collectors and business as usual or maybe not business as usual um as I go up here uh, Grimlock Gun, welcome. Boss Gunny, welcome. Nick, happy to see you, buddy. Your town is under lockdown? All right, whatever. Um, let's see. Um, Elixir. I think it's Elixir. Is it Elixir? I think it's Elixir. I'm going to say it's Elixir 94. I'm going to say it, and it's a cool name. Um... I'm $130 off my SS Devastator, and I'm so happy. Okay. Well, you know what? I I hope you get him soon, man. I, I, I'm i curious to see how functional he is when he's done. I mean, he's not my Devastator, but he definitely, definitely, definitely is for movie fans. No doubt in my mind. I'd love to kind of see the end result. So I kind of can't wait. As Not as much as you can't wait because it's yours, but you get the idea. Um. Yeah, I assume, Nick, that that's why stuff was closed down, locked down, whatever. Steven, welcome, Firebite. Um, but I promoted my Kofi page to my subscribers, so hopefully I'm going to start making back a little money. On my hopefully, hopefully, Firebite, good luck to you, buddy. Um, let's see. Just got Siege Omega Supreme for... What? $57? That's a fantastic price, Stephen. Congratulations. Um, let's see. Not not much up so far, Devlin, buddy. It's just been a good week. Um, how many people confuse allergies with a flu virus? I, honestly, I don't pay much attention to it. I, I, I get the sniffles, and I go, and I take some medicine. Now, I'm not saying that that's what you should do. I'm, like, I'm not giving you any advice on anything like that. I mean, Listen to the health health professionals. Uh, let's see. Just got mix master. Um, Elixir just got mix master. That's great. I haven't seen mix master. It's weird. I haven't seen mix master, but I've seen the. I don't know who the big one is that got the big tire on top and the big tire on bottom. Um, Scavenger, maybe. I'm not. I don't even know the names. I got to be honest. There's so many of them that I don't even know their names. Uh, let's see. Got mine. Uh, inflamed and kind of infected and drained a little during the wait to see what surgeon was referring to. Um, yeah, right. I mean, MWG, read MWG's comment there and you'll get the idea. Uh, let's see. I'm 
Oh, oh, Grimlock on his tech. Oh, okay, I got you, buddy. I know exactly who you are now. Um, down here. Uh, custom grinder, interesting. My daughters are on spring break, but college told them only to return when email. Okay, whatever. Anyway, um, so the trivia. Let's get the trivia out of the way, man. Let's get let's get things going right here because we're what ten minutes in, right? And I don't want to be no three hours like Maximal Ten said. Trivia tonight, interesting one. Of course, given to us by good friend of the channel, Dragonfly. And the trivia tonight is in the episode, uh, the Crimzeek episode. Crimzeek causes Teletran 1 to malfunction and broadcast that evil Martian flamingos have invaded supermarkets to steal what? Were they stealing bleach? Were they stealing ammonia? Were they stealing peroxide? Or were they stealing vinegar? Bleach, ammonia, so A is bleach, B is ammonia, C, peroxide, or D, vinegar what were they stealing and while you guys think on that i want to send a shout out a happy birthday to our very own ninja bill i don't think he is in here right now but hopefully he gets to see this um and he just had a, a birthday so happy birthday to him uh just checking in here let's see to exist different earthrise skylinks uh it's possible to exist what links links message says it's possible to exist different earthrise skylinks that no there will not be a diff any difference, no difference anymore between the Skylinks. Hasbro and Takara are one entity now. They're one big happy family. It will be the exact same thing just as it's been for a long time now. The days of Takara doing something different are over. That's not the way of the world anymore. Um, maybe eventually, but it's not the way it is right now anyway. Let's see. Last week, a piece of... What? A piece of tooth broke off, and the dentist smothered that and, <laughs> and removed a different tooth no, that was already in bad shape. Well, actually, speaking of a tooth, not this Monday, but next Monday, I actually have to go and see about a tooth that has a dying root. I mentioned to you guys back in December about that uh, and this jaw pain I was having. I'm finally getting it seen, too. So fingers crossed, man. Fingers crossed. You haven't missed too much yet, TF Fan Geek. We're just getting through the uh, opening and the trivia so far, so not too much yet. Um, going down, stealing C peroxide as elixirs guess. Um, I binge watched, yeah, season three of Cyberverse yesterday. I did too. We're not going to talk about any of the things from a TF Bangi because a lot of people haven't. It's not officially out everywhere yet, but I'm sure you'll agree with me that it is a fantastic season. And even people that haven't given Cyberverse a chance should probably at least give season three a chance. Uh, going down here, Larkin. Happy to see you, buddy. Uh, peroxide C. Uh, let's see, going down. Uh, the Takara Alicon. No, the Takara Alicon is not different, it's the way that it was photographed. Uh, being a prototype, it will be the exact same thing. Um, that came up, it won't be, it'll be the same thing. Trust me, I would bet dollars to donuts. It's the exact same thing. They're one entity. They don't do separate decos anymore. That's not a thing anymore. Anybody who tells you that it is, they're wrong because it's not. That's not how the business works anymore, man. That's not the agreement they have. Um, no, it's not an exclusive either, TF Angie. It's been said that that was the promotional images and that that wasn't the final colors and that it will look like the one from Hasbro. That was officially said. Um, I don't know why so many people missed it, but it was officially said uh, that it's the same same thing, man. That being said, I, I'd like to have a like a trio at least of Valley Uh, You know, I feel like they they deserve a nice trio. Well, sleezes, I hate to tell you, but it's not going to be different. Um, I want donuts. Me too, Lark. I love donuts. So good. I hope they continue Cyberverse. I uh, don't know about... I, from what they say, Cyberverse is done. I mean, they seem to be on a three-year cycle. I talked about that before because apparently you can only like keep kids' attention for three years or something like that. Um, going down... Uh, if I was reincarnated as a Transformer, I'd be Skylinks probably. 
Really? But I, if I was, I'd be, I'd be tracks, man. I'd be tracks. Uh, going down here. Okay. So, uh, that being said, very few guesses on the trivia tonight. They were not, however, here to steal peroxide. They were, in fact, here to steal ammonia. B, ammonia. Now, that brings me to my next topic, which is a little bit of a comparison here. Uh, we'll do this pretty quickly, but I showed you guys this guy. I even showed the update to the custom work that I did on him. Um, the hardest part is definitely the arms because you need to paint them and you need to clear coat them, but you really need to kind of shave away some of the plastic inside so that when you bend the arm, it's not going to scrape off the paint that you have on it, even with a clear coat on it. it. It's a challenge to do. But then a friend of mine, good friend of the channel, Cyril, a lot of people have heard me talk about him before. He is the guy who lent me, for example, Earthrise Cliff Jumper to take a look at. He wanted me to do a custom on his Earthrise Optimus Prime, but he didn't want the silver. So it's been removed from the arms on both sides. Uh, the extra handle on the blaster was cut off and that was painted a gunmetal gray not black gunmetal gray and the legs of course do not have the silver anymore either um and in truck mode i took off some extra there so it's mostly now the red cab with the, the blue legs and i like it he likes it um but i asked him if i could hold on to it for now so i kind of asked you guys like which one like this is full-on animation accuracy this is a little more like MP10-ish, and the silver does maybe break it up, and it does tie in with the metallic blue of, like, the hands in the back of his head and whatnot. We talked about that before. But I'm going to ask you guys now in the chat, which one, at the end of the day, do you think is actually better now that you can see both of them with and without the silver? Should I keep it on mine, or should I get rid of it? Just something that I'm kind of throwing out there to see what you guys say. Um, very interested to see what you guys say. Uh, so I'm going to just check in here before we go on and see what we got. Oh, look, Neuro got ammonia. Uh, going up here. Uh, going down again. Um, I'd be Grimlock. That's a good one to be if you were going to be reincarnated as a Transformer. I'd definitely be Trax. I know I would because his car mode is so sleek, man. I bet a lot of people expected I'd say Wheeljack. Uh, I might be mad. I might, you know what? I take that back, man. I wouldn't be any of that. I'd be Metroplex. I'm going to be a city. I'm going to be a whole city. Looking for ideas for 3D prints for Transformers. I finished Astro Train. What? I'll finish Astro Train Phil. Uh, oh, finish Astro Train Phil. Yeah, I don't, I'm the wrong guy to ask about 3D printing. I don't understand it. I don't know how it's done. I don't know really what the machines look like. I saw one once. I don't know what's used for it. I don't know the programs. That, I know nothing about it. To me, it's like witchcraft and magic. Um, I don't, it's totally outside the realm of anything I understand. Um, oh, being Fort Max is a good one, Event Progenitor. Uh, that three years sustainability is a lie. That's just, they don't want to put ever. I, don't, I wouldn't say it's a lie. I would say it's actually very accurate. I'd say three years is being generous. Kids' attention now tends to wane really quickly. It's not like when we were young, man. Not like when we were young. Now, that being said, do I think they should put more um, effort into Cyberverse? Possibly. I don't think it should have been 11 minutes. I think that that was your mistake. Don't make it 11 minutes. I don't I don't, I don't. don't like that format. I know it's a popular format. It ain't for me, man. Um, Doctor Who has been going... From, it has, but Doctor Who caters to a very different audience. Um, like I, it, like I'm a I'm a fan of the Doctor, uh, but they also keep changing those characters. So you're talking about two. Com you're comparing apples and oranges, man. Uh, I, I and when you say Doctor Who's went on, it keeps changing. Transformers has been around for 35 plus years, but it keeps changing. It's not the same all the time. Just like the Doctor's not the same all the time. Just like Star Trek's been around for, you know, 50 plus years. And it too keeps changing with different crews and expanding that universe. Uh, Cyberverse could get rebranded. I, I think that here's the thing. 
I think when it first started, a lot of people were like, this is dumb and I don't like it. Um, because season one was a little plotting, a little bit slow. But I feel like with where they took the storytelling, yeah, they could continue it. But it's almost too little too late because they've reached what they consider to be the end of it. Could that change? Could we get a season four? We could. And I'd be down for that. I don't believe that's what's going to happen. I think something else is going to come along. But I'd be down for it. My only real complaint with Earthrise Optimus is the eyes are so hard to see. That's why you paint silver around them. The reason they're hard to see is because they left the blue when really it should have been silver up around his eyes. Uh, that's why I painted them silver. But I, I totally hear you, MWG. I totally, totally hear you. Um, I don't know anything about Power Rangers. It was after my time. But again, Power Rangers changes all the time. How many teams of Power Rangers have there been? Um, what do we got going here, guys? What do we got going? Hold on, because it just sometimes this pops down on me, and I don't know why it happens. I get what you're saying, like I get what you're saying, Firebite, with the examples. But you got to remember that they keep evolving and changing over time, and Transformers is doing the same thing. Cyberverse was just another evolution, and we're going to have now the whole like War for Cybertron trilogy on Netflix, and probably we're going to even though we still have like rescue bots Academy going, we're probably going to have something else kind of in the mainstream just on TV. I don't know what that is yet. It certainly hasn't been announced, but it'll be interesting, interesting to see what follows it up. I, I, it'd be nice for built on Cyberverse at least. Uh, let's see. Last thing Hasbro really put any effort into last thing they really put effort into Transformers prime. Just announced Disneyland and Henna. Yeah, we're going to yeah, TF Fan Geek. We're going to talk about that. I eye roll a lot of that. Uh, silver. I, pre I prefer the look. It pops with the silver. Fair enough. Event Progenitor. Um, TF Fan Geek chooses the silver. The silver's cool. Okay, everybody's still kind of favoring the silver. Um, silver flows from the smokestacks. That's a good point as well. Uh, Let's see. Oh, look. Big shout out to Neuro. I, uh, I'm i just getting down to it now. Big shout out to Neuro. Keep the silver. You know what? Neuro has spoken. That's it, man. Going to keep the silver. Simple as that. I did paint on. He is our uh, Super Chat Super Fan for the record, ladies and gents. I need to. Ooh. Pardonne. Moi. A little French for you there tonight. Uh, let's see. Three years is what it takes, uh, is what all, yeah, kid shows do. Larkin got it right there. Uh, I Listen, listen, Nero. Not only am I not going to miss your recommendation, buddy, but your recommendation now is the one that carries the most weight. Uh, very rare for them to get a fourth season. It is very rare, although Rescue Bots got a fourth season, but that, that, that show was brilliant. I'm just going to say it. I love Rescue Bots. Uh, Um, uh, going down here. Please, please review fans, hobby, super Ginrai B2 with, um, I'm sure it's great. I can't afford it. This is, I'm not even going to lie to you. Can't afford it. Uh, I think it's beautiful. I love fans hobby for the record. I think that they're, I love what they do. Uh, I think that their Ginrai and their God Bomber is terrific. I really, really do. Um, but I just I have to be realistic. And here in Canada, I just can't I can't afford it. There's the truth of it. Um see, doctor who I'm a big fan too. My doctor, my doctor is 12. My wife's doctor is 10. Although I don't mind 13, she's all right. I do miss Missy though. Uh, going down here, let's see. Uh, you don't have to. Yes, I do, Neuro. Yes, I do. You were loyal to me, buddy. I'm loyal to you. Uh, Silver breaks it up. Looks good. Event. Uh, will you make a review for Toy Hacks uh, Skywarp stickers? Um, I may eventually. I have a lot of stuff on the docket right now to work my way through Event Progenitor. Um, but I can't. I, I'm figuring what I'm going to do eventually is take a bunch of the characters that I have some toy hack stuff on, and I'll kind of do a review of a bunch of them. 
because I really pick and choose what it is I'm going to use, especially where sometimes when it goes on characters that I've already done custom paint work on too. So it's sometimes it's a bit of a, a mixture, but it is something that's like in the plans to do, but I can't tell you exactly when it's in the plans to do it. Um, I'm not, I'm not Patriot Prime, man. Um, Let's see. We got Earthrise from Amazon. Uh, Earthrise Starscream. Wow. From Amazon for. Whoa. You got Earthrise Starscream for 65 years. No. No. Oh, TF Fan Geek. I hope you love it. I. My heart aches for you. That's all I'm going to say about that. Uh, I would. He will definitely be on sale. He will definitely be around. He's only okay. He is not worth 65 US. I'm telling you now. I said it last week. I'll look at for my wallet and yours. He is not close to worth 65 US. Absolutely. Yeah, that's steep. I'm with Dragonfly, man. I really am. You you can get a better deal for him than that. I'm just saying. Speaking, however, of Seekers, I want to... Not so much talk about this guy. I actually want to give a shout out. I just have to find it here now to uh, Jean Pierre. And some of you will say, who? What? Um, Jean Pierre was nice enough to inform me that apparently this lad has shown up, of course, on Toys R Us, but sells out very quickly. So when I done the review of this guy a couple of days ago, I said how there was availability, because in the States, my understanding is that he is a Target red card exclusive. Apparently in Canada, he will be a Toys R Us R Club exclusive, but evidently he's been selling out very quickly, like almost instantaneously the couple of times he's appeared. And apparently it's a second run where he doesn't have the smirking face like mine has. It has the regular face, um, which I, I kind of wish mine had, but nevertheless, um, and I mentioned last week, I was very thankful to get this guy. Jean-Pierre is also the guy who did the custom Red Wing that a lot of people saw, done a beautiful paint job. And um, he even said that he preferred it over the real thing. The advantage that he had is that the red he used was um, like, here it's red plastic. So, you you know, there's a little bit of, I'm not going to say translucent because it's opaque, but there's like, you can see light through the wings as I hold it up to the light. Pardon me. Hello. And that is what you call a scam phone call. And you know what you do with scam phone calls when you get them, folks? You hang up on them. Um, anyway, the red that he used was a like a nice deep red. Now, he has said to me that apparently uh, the red had, uh, well, all the paint has held up quite well on his custom. Now, I don't feel a need to do that with this guy. However, if you cannot get a Red Wing, uh, by all means, look up the custom Red Wing. See the work he did. He done a beautiful job. I just wanted to give a shout out because he did inform me a little bit more about the availability via Toys R Us. If you are outside of the US, specifically in Canada, man, you might have a fighting chance, but you're going to have to be very on the ball to get them. Just throwing it out there. Just throwing it out there. Um, I also wanted to mention a pre-order that I put in this week. One that is, it's paid for, man. It is done. I'm just waiting. Just waiting. I have a couple of pre-orders, but this one in particular. I have now bought and paid for, and I'm waiting on the grand finale of my uh, Titans. That being Earthrise Scorponok. And got them really for... Uh, an, an all right deal, Canadian wise, not as good as the US price, but an all right deal, Canadian wise. He, like Omega Supreme, is going to be at regular retail here in Canada for $249.99. That's not what I paid for him because it would be that plus taxes plus shipping. That's not what I paid for him. Um, because it was a pre order and it was uh, a flat rate shipping, I managed to get him for like $200, um, which is all right because it's actually more in the ballpark of who more in the ballpark of uh, 
Fort Max. It's cheaper than what I paid for Trypticon. So I'm okay with that. I'm all right with that. I'm just going to check in with you guys again here. Um, let's see. Going down. I won't pay 65 for Siege Jetfire. I got my Jetfire for 76 Canadian. Uh, that was good for me. I'm in California. I'm passing on them. Yeah, I'm passing on them all together. I'm, I'm honestly, I don't, I don't see me keeping them. I don't see me keeping the Earthrise Star Screen because I don't like it as much as the Siege. Um, I know a lot of people do. It's just, it's not for me. That's all. Kind of like how Cliff Jumpers, not for me. But we're going to talk about that shortly too. Finally found Wheeljack. I love Wheeljack, man. Oh, I love Wheeljack. He's so good. Um, it's a wave one figure. Yeah, he'll be plentiful. He will. He will. Patience is a virtue with that star screen. Uh, yeah, I'm so freaking happy with him. I don't blame you at all. I absolutely don't blame you. Um, fish strength, fish strength and fitness. Nice, nice name. Uh, I'm only buying and collecting Transformers Earthrise figures and nothing else. So that's why I got star. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. Uh, If you saw a Red Wing at a local TRU, that's really impressive. Keep your eyes peeled for it. Uh, he's, I, I'm happy to have him. I adore, adore my Seeker display now with all of them together. I love it. Can't wait to get Hot Link. Just saying. Uh, I could only draw up uh, if I have measurements on uh, the figure to measure uh, uh, event progenitor. Fair enough. Uh, I have... <laughs> Man, we get scam calls here. All I like the ones from like the federal government. And, like my wife works for the federal government, so like I'm like, no, they're not calling and scamming me. That's nonsense. Um, so foolish. Um, going down. I got Astro Train at Target two weeks ago for about fifty. Uh, I had to choose him or Optimus. I think Optimus is the better value. Honestly, I'm not that impressed with Astro Train either. Astro Train is, it's a Voyager. It's a Voyager. And even with the parts you put on him, like, they're not really functional. I don't know. I'm not an Astro Train fan. I know a lot of people are. I get it, man. That's cool. That's cool. And if you are, great. But I think if I had to make the choice, I would get Optimus. That's just me. That's totally subjective. I get it, man. Uh, as we go down here, let's see. And if I'm skipping stuff or missing stuff, I, I'm... I apologize, man. Found uh, Omega at a Hasbro warehouse for 20 bucks. Nice. Nice. Was he missing anything? Fish strength? Or, like, was there anything wrong with him? Or, you know, is there anything you have to replace on him? 20 bucks is phenomenal. We don't get deals like that in Canada. I wish we did. Uh, uh, through who? Scorponok? I got mine through um, ages three and up. I got the last one. It was one left. Um, uh, hopefully they bring more in stock, but mine was the last one there. Um, I don't think there's a whole lot for Scorponok yet, but you know what? Again, as time goes on, he's going to be fairly plentiful. I know TF Toys has him. Um, I'm sure Amazon will. I'm sure Toys R Us will. And I figure EB Games probably will. Uh, certainly if you're in the U.S., we all know everything from Chosen Prime to BBTS to TF Source and so on and so forth. They'll all have him uh, because he's going to be in big demand like Omega was, I think. Best Buy. Best Buy might have him as well. There you go. There's another one. Um, let's see. Uh, do you believe... In reformatted mini bot. What does do you believe it? I won't be buying them. I'm not spending three times the cost for what is not three times the product. Now that's just me. And you know what? Since I mentioned it, let's get it out of the way. Objectively, this lad, I'd done the review on him, and again, because I'm very honest, I got a bit of flack for it because everybody was like, he's fantastic. He's okay. He's okay. He's not fantastic. He's okay. Um, look, I'm going to explain my thinking tomorrow. Tomorrow when we look at 
if I can find it here. When we look at this lad, this to me, to me, I like this infinitely more than I like this. Not because this is better, because it's not. It's lighter, it's thinner, it's smaller. But I still like it infinitely better than this. Why? I'll explain it tomorrow. But the long story short right now is this looks like cliff jumper. This yells cliff jumper to me. This does not. This yells just random red dude. The head is pretty cliff jumper, yes. And it's a fine mold. It's a fine transformer. There's nothing wrong with it other than it's vastly overpriced. And it does. You would say, oh, there you go. Maybe it's uh, like I would probably dig this mold for, um, I don't know, uh, throttle bots. You know, throttle bots. Give me some throttle bots with this. But uh, like I love the paint. I love the texture on him. I love the articulation. The transformation is okay. Uh, I don't like the, I don't like how, see if I can open this out. I don't like how like this whole piece has the tab into his leg. I don't, I don't like that. I don't find the tabs super great. The storage for this whole thing, I don't dig. I don't mind the parts forming. I'm fine with that. Don't care about that. I, rather than having the Autobot symbol on the hood, I'd rather that they just had it on the chest. I don't know. Like, it's great. Like, I get why people are choosing it. I do. I understand why people like it. Because, like I said, objectively, it's a good transformer. But I, it's not the cliff jumper for me. It's not. I. They can do better. I, I think they can do better. The alt mode, I don't know where they got the alt mode from. It's not for me. Does that mean he's bad? No. And a lot of people are confusing that. They're saying, hey, Gapot, you said he's no good. That's not what I said. I said he's not the cliff jumper for me, man. Like, calm down. He might be the cliff jumper for you. That being said, even if he is the cliff jumper for you, especially since he's wave one and will be around everywhere, because I can guarantee you the guy's not going to fly away that quickly. There's no need to pay full price for this. Wait until this goes on sale. My take here in Canada is 20 bucks. He's worth 20 bucks. In the U.S., I kind of agree with what a lot of people have come back and said to me. He's fine. He's great, but he's not worth 20 bucks. He's worth 15. He's worth 15 US because he's definitely not as small or as simple as a traditional legends. So he, he is going to warrant a higher cost, but here in Canada, that higher cost is triple the cost. He's not triple better. He's not, he's objectively not. That being said, you know, is he good? Yes, he is. So if you're on the fence and you're thinking like, oh, Gapot is saying that he's not good. No, that's not what I'm saying. If he fits the bill for you and you look at him and you see Cliff Jumper here, like that looks like Cliff Jumper to you, you win. It just doesn't to me. That being said, and I haven't reviewed this guy yet, though I will this week, these two do scale nicely together. This, of course, is KBB, uh, Agents Hornet, which is their kind of KO of New Age's Bumblebee. These do scale nicely together. But I just, it's a fine, you know what? Officially speaking, I don't think that we've had the cliff jumper that would make me happy. That's why I have the hot soldiers one for now. And I'll talk about my reasoning tomorrow. But am I perfectly happy with the hot soldiers one? No, I think there's room to improve there as well. So I don't think we've got the perfect cliff jumper yet. There's my take. There's the takeaway, man. We do not have the perfect cliff jumper. Um, as I go up here. I'm still waiting to make a custom. You can make no reason. Wow. I wish we had deals like that. I, I would get an Omega Supreme if I could get it for 20 bucks. Uh, going down here, Tipengi Event Progenitor. He's not at Best Buy, Canada's website, but he is available if you're in the US Best Buy. There you go. Um, I thought that helps me a whole lot. Uh, going down, let's see. No, Cliff Jumper does not, and I'm not going to show that Cybermetic Geek. Uh, I paid 170. If you know anything about mathematics, the law of rounding would have you round down to the 42 that a Legends is, not round up to the 84 to 86 that a Deluxe is. That's not how rounding and math works. Math don't lie. That's what my wife always says. Math don't lie. And the math here says that it's closer to a Legend. Um... 
I love Cliff Jumper. You can all you want, but if you paid full price for him, then you shouldn't have. I'm not even going to apologize for it. You should not pay. You should not tell Hasbro that that Cliff Jumper is worth a deluxe price point. Shame on you for doing it. That's what I'm going to say. And you can get mad at me all you like, man. But I'm just saying, I'm not willing to send that message to him. Now, uh, uh, Wheeljack, absolutely. Hoist, absolutely. Uh, Ironworks, man, no doubt. Uh, Impactor, yes. Uh, Ratchet, Ironhide, yes. But uh, let's look at some of the other ones. Reflector, no. Uh, Cliff Jumper, no. Um, who else? Prowl, no. Because they were too light. They're too small. Too small. And somebody said to me, hey, maybe you should look at it a different way. They're allotting like a certain amount of plastic for the whole wave. And they happen to make, you know, two that are bigger, one that's average and one that's smaller. So look at it that way. No, they went up 10 to $15 in my country per, per purchase in one year. No, I expect that much more value each and every time. If you're not going to give it to me each and every time, then don't try and pull the wool over my eyes. And don't try and pull the wool over your eyes. Pay attention, guys. Pay attention. You absolutely need the Toy Hack stickers for Omega. I absolutely agree with you. Um, he is amazing. I got Earthrise Cliff Jumper from Amazon for 18. I got Earthrise Cliff Jumper from Amazon for 18 US. And he's not worth more than that. He is not. But 18 US, I could swallow and say, yeah, okay. I think that that's still a little high, but 18 US, I could swallow that. That's that's acceptable. Uh, already bought the upgrades for them. Let's see. I like Cliff Jumper. That's fine, man. If you like Cliff Jumper, you win. But I can't morally get behind it. Uh, Cliff Jumper just not worth the asking price at, for mainline retail. I agree. Uh, thanks for letting me know. Oh, time to bang it. Going down. Going down. Uh. Alt mode looks like wind charger. That's what I've been saying all along. Going down. Uh, he's on par with the older legends. He's on par with Scout Class. And Scout Class weren't no 30 bucks. 30 Canadian. Well, 30 plus tax Canadian. So 35 Canadian. Sorry. Uh, and I know that it's a hot button topic. Like, I get it. A lot of people are mad at me for saying it. But I got to be honest, man. Would you guys rather I start lying to you? I don't think so. Uh, I meant to work a reference to Gary Busey in his film Bulletproof where he says... Your worst nightmare. I don't know the film. Uh, he does have a wind charger type of alt mode. Uh, easy remold for Hasbro. Maybe, but we just got a wind charger like a year and a half ago. I don't know. Do we need another wind charger? I wouldn't buy it. But you know what? Do it. Do a wind charger. Yay, I get to save money. Uh, I'd, buy a go I'd buy a gold bug. I'd buy, again, yes, use that mold. Give me some throttle bots. I'm still not paying 35 for it. Like, I'll wait till they go on sale, but I would buy that. Uh, let's see, going down. I got it. Connectors for MicroMasters to make a combiner like G1 MicroMaster. You could do that too. Uh, no, no more wind chargers for a while. Yeah, we've gotten like three of them. I think the Cliff Jumper is going to be one of the favorite small scale transformers of all time. Really? What he's not, I only find him e. Eh. Like I'm not even that impressed with the mold. I don't know why people are going crazy for it. It's okay at best. I don't understand why would he be a favorite. He's, I don't know. I I didn't get him. He's on loan to me, and I'm glad I didn't get him. And I don't plan to get him. There you go. He is the most controversial of Wave One. If you love him, great man. You know, I just can't get behind it. Uh, opportunity to get a siege jet fire for. For 50 plus tax, that's good. If you can get a Siege Jetfire for 50 plus tax, you jump on that. Uh, he's a classic Scout class figure. He's a Scout class figure. I agree. Um, man, oh man, you guys have a whole lot to say tonight, which is great, but uh, it's making it harder for me going down here. I paid $10 for Cliff Jumper when Target had him on sale. Jason paid $10 for Cliff Jumper. That's 10, I assume, US because it's from Target. Yes. Cliff Jumper is absolutely worth that. One billion, billion, trillion percent. Here's the thing. Everybody thinks that I got a hate on for Cliff Jumper. I don't. I never have a hate on for any of the offerings that come out. It's all about the value proposition, baby. I think he's great. I think he's great. I think he's great. 
I just don't think he's worth 20 US. Uh, but 10 US, Jason. Absolutely, buddy. Absolutely. Uh, sp what? Spinister got bot? I, I like Spinister. I got Spinister. I love Spinister. Um, two plus two equals one. I don't even know what Cybermedic Geek's talking about. Uh, let's see. 15, like, that's all right. 15 is good. Uh, is worth it to pay 900 euros? For nope. <laughs> nope. Uh, that Unicron is the biggest ripoff I've ever seen of any retail, of any consumer good ever. No. Uh, no. 900 euro for you. No, don't do that. That's insane. Don't do that. Um, save your money. You're going to be a lot happier. Trust me. Uh, my wife got Jetfire for 40 on clearance. Beautiful. That's beautiful. Uh, waiting for Omega. A massive sale will start around June or July. I wouldn't hold my breath. And it, in Canada, you know as well as I do, Event Progenitor, that the cheapest you're going to get them for on the massive sale if he's even sticking around, will be 169, 179. There's none left here. So good luck to you, buddy. Good luck to you. Uh, White Whale is G1 Optimus Prime. You could have always got the reissue, TF Fangi. Uh, okay. So uh, I'm going to run through the news notes very quickly here. We saw more images of Skylinks and Starscream, or not Starscream, Smokescreen for Earthrise. They're beautiful. I absolutely adore them. I'm in for them. Both of them. I love that Skylinks can pull off the uh, rocket base mode. I love that he has that weird bird thing and the links. Um, love it. Love everything about it. Love the color choices. Love the palette. Love everything about it. Even love the fact that uh, he has the little NASA logo on him, though some people have said they're going to remove that. I'm sure it's easy enough. And I think his shuttle name is Magnificence. <laughs> like, come on. That's perfect for Captain Modesty. Uh, the smoke screen is ideal. I want a prowl and a blue streak like it. That's the smoke screen, uh, smoke screen that I was waiting for. Um, Skylinks has a landing gear as well. I love that. Going down, let's see. Uh, the only thing that's not perfect on this smoke screen is that he has an 80 instead of a 38. I don't know why they've done that. Tia Fangi came up with a nice little joke that they have to change it for different racing circuits on Cybertron after so long. Um, but I already, here's the one thing that does bother me about smokescreen is that I am already seeing them cheap out less paint. You look at the back, there's all that beautiful molded in like, uh, taillight stuff. None of it painted. None of it. Um, I don't see the prices going back down. They're already cutting paint. I don't see the prices going back down. I think that's unfortunate. Tigertron, uh, he apparently is going to be released toward the end of September. The Seacons, they look great. Fantastic. Uh, earlier, T'Challa pointed out to me and said, hey, there are reviews up of them. Indeed, there are. I haven't really been paying much attention to it. The Seacons are vastly too hard to get in Canada. One store had them, and they're sold out. And I, unless they become easier, I don't see the point. Um, but they look good. MP19 Plus Smokescreen. He looks great. He comes with a beautiful smoke effect. I, did you like the original? Because if so, I don't think you need to upgrade to the 19 plus. If you missed the original, 19 plus might be a nice option. Uh, more images from WizKid statues, and apparently they've been kicking around here locally. We saw RC and Frenzy, Frenzy or Rumble, I'm going to call them. Ironhide, uh, Laser Beacon, Soundwave. These are, of course, the little statues that you need to paint yourself. They look cool. Uh, I think it's a nice way to kind of begin practicing customizing, maybe. Uh, prize inside also showed that they have these five millimeter compatible holographic heads and they're kind of like on like a flat piece and you can put it into the arm of like a siege uh, or Earthrise offering and it would look like you know they're talking to someone that's the holographic image of them uh, I think it's a cool idea there's only a few of them yet I assume that they may do more I assume that they're cheap but they look really cool for what it's worth. A, a nice little communication thing. I could certainly see using it for stop motion. Banana Force showed their black RID Optimus Prime, their Nemesis Prime, if you will, which is an homage to the original RID Lucky Draw Nemesis Prime, of which there were only 
15 produced. So if you always wanted an RID, Nemesis Prime, and you didn't get one of those 15 lucky draw ones, if you're okay with it not transforming, Banana Force might have you covered. And that's kind of it for the re reveals for the week. There wasn't a lot. There was a lot of uh, trading card stuff the week. I didn't pick anything up. I doubt I'm going to be getting a whole lot. Hey, Ninja Bill's in here. Happy birthday, buddy. Gave you a birthday shout out earlier. Uh, let's see. As we go up here, I'm just going to check in with you guys again. Um, let's see what you got. Let's see. Ollie's is 90 minutes away from it. Yeah, we see. I like. I live on an island. I can't get to know Ollie's. Uh, I saved money for Earthrise Skylinks and Scorbunak. You're a smart Lynx Master. I respect that. You got an eye on the prize, buddy. Smokescreen Skylinks are a must for me. I agree with you, Jason. They're a must for me as well. I uh, cannot wait for Snapdragon. Oh, yes, I can't wait for Snapdragon either. I'm with you right there, dear Fang Geek. Uh, I'm in for Skylinks too and Smokescreen. If I were reincarnated as a Transformer, I'd be Skylinks. Didn't you say that earlier, Neuro? Uh, I went Snapdragon myself. Uh, thanks for the share. Absolutely, TFN Geek. Uh, guys, if you don't know TFN Geek, go check out his channel. Uh, this is version of Takara Photo. Um, uh, let's see. Going down here. A few things on the Earthrise Colors for Prime and talked about. Yeah, just getting caught up a little bit here. Okay, so uh, last but not least for the day, and this... This is, seems about right. No three hours, maximum 10. Uh, the business news, few things first that are very simple. Bumblebee appeared in an insurance commercial for the UK, kind of a cute commercial. Um, it was the Bumblebee from the Bumblebee movie. It is what it is. I also saw a lot of listings with prices and releases for the upcoming uh, releases for the Japanese Transformers. And you know what? Transformers aren't cheap in Japan either, man. Like a deluxe is 2737. I assume that's equivalent US. Feel for you guys because here in Canada, it's about the same. Um, a Voyager, 44 bucks. The equivalent of 44 bucks. That's what we pay. Uh, a liter, 66. That's less than what we pay. Um, Titan, 244, 43. We pay two forty nine dollars regular. So Japan is priced very similar to Canada, and I feel for them because I did not know that we kind of were in the same boat in terms of what we pay. Now, that being said, if that's what uh, Japanese consumers pay, imagine now when they do that conversion and you throw in the shipping, that's why here in Canada, Takara items are so vastly more expensive. Like a deluxe is... 55 plus tax and shipping. Um, a lot of times it's just prohibitive. It's just, it's too much, you know. Sometimes you just got to know when to say when, man. And that brings us to our very last thing, which was a statement that was released. And I'm going to talk about this in more general terms. A statement that was released by Hasbro uh, in relation to events going on uh, health-wise with the world currently. And they said that, they use a lot of th third-party... Th I love that they said that they use third-party manufacturers. They don't do their manufacturing in-house. They use third-party manufacturers. A majority in China, which I found interesting, didn't they just say like a year ago, we're changing a, a whole bunch of our stuff over to Vietnam? I know Earthrise came from Vietnam. I've heard Studio Series did, but you just said in the statement this week that you still have a majority of your manufacturing in China. So this is great big move that you were doing. Was that just a lie? Was that just another lie? Because this company has been doing nothing but lying for the last year. It's kind of like it's kind of like the WWE. Like I love the WWE. I love Vince, man, because the guy cracks me up. But like in the last week or so, like they had some sort of lawsuit or something levied against them by shareholders because they said, uh, look, we're getting a huge injection of money from Saudi Arabia and those shows, and we have this long uh, contract and blah, blah, blah. And we're going to be expanding our business in the Middle East. Great, wonderful. But that hasn't materialized. They haven't really expanded. They just do a couple of shows. Um, in t late 2019, I think, the channel over there, the show's WWE program, like pulled, pulled the programming 
didn't bother to tell anyone. They just flicked the switch, you know, and turned it off. Um, and now it's kind of like a situation where the investors have a lawsuit because Vince made promises. He oversold on promises and then he under delivered. And that's exactly what I feel like we're getting here with Hasbro. Uh, they have made these big claims about, re you know, being more environmentally conscious with the packaging. We're moving our uh, manufacturing to Vietnam. And I feel like you have oversold and under delivered. Um, just, I don't know. It seems like a bunch of lies to me. Uh, then they say that they're waiting to see what happens. And um, let's see. Um, waiting to see what happens uh, with that and other trade factors. Obviously, they're talking about the trade war between China and the U.S. Thanks to Donald Trump. Um, they cited that Costs have gone up because of increased labor and business costs. Somebody got paid for those pensions from Warden and Goldner, right? You know, somebody got paid for those pensions. Uh, they then cited that they're going to be putting a lot on the shoulders of their partnerships with Paramount and E1. Specifically, E1 was mentioned a lot. They did say how with Paramount, they had the Snake Eyes movie coming out. Can't wait for the Snake Eyes movie. Because though I talk about it rarely, I do love me some G.I. Joe. But they did say that they're going to have um, a more active role in fiction. Please don't. You guys are awful with fiction. Don't. Just go away. Make the plastic and leave the fiction to people that can actually do fiction, man. Um, but they said that they're going to be putting a lot on E1 to come up with new fiction. It sounds like they're putting all their eggs in one basket with fiction and that they're relying on e1 to deliver and if e1 under delivers then guess what profits are not going to be there if future paramount films under deliver profits won't be there like a lot is contingent on these two other companies seemingly they're not saying that they're finding ways to reduce costs they're just saying costs have gone up because of these reasons and trying to make it sound justified and of course they're saying that if this health issue goes on for too long it could adversely affect their business and some have even said it cause further price increases you'll destroy your company it's as simple as that now that being said a lot has come out in the last 24 hours nba has canceled their season nhl has paused their season um i think the nfl is shut down if i'm not mistaken disney world disneyland they're shutting down for a while um, you know, there's a seniors dance here locally that's being shut down. Like, I'm, it's twofold. One, I think, I think a lot of people are really jumping the gun, really jumping the gun. I, I'm not saying it's not serious. It is. And there's a lot of health information in this ever changing environment. And you should follow what professionals are saying because they know your health and my health a lot better than we do. But I also think people like to jump on the bandwagon. Could this kind of be, on one hand, could this kind of be like sort of unnecessary overkill? Possibly. However, that being said, sporting events, music events, like here in Canada, we have one called the Junos. That's been canceled. Um, Free Zero has said there's going to be delays in shipping. Other companies have said there's going to be delays in shipping. So this is going to affect, in the short term, all of us in terms of product and stock getting to places whether it be retail on the shelves or whether it be things we're waiting for in the mail you're not going to get it um it's going to affect businesses and people's jobs because with all of these things canceled there's a lot of people now sitting at home if you are salaried great if you work by the hour this isn't good for you um you know wrestlemania is coming up in a month or so right now it's still a go will that last I don't know. I guess it depends on how things evolve. I'm hoping that all of these extreme measures are being done now so that we have short-term pain for long-term gain. I think that people do need to really pay attention and follow what health organizations are saying. Because on one hand, like I said, you could have overkill. Is this really necessary? But on the other hand, whether it's music, whether it's our collectibles, or whether it's sporting events, none of that, none of it is important enough to put your health and my health at risk. It's just not. It's not worth it. Because guess what? 
when this is dealt with properly by the proper authorities and in the proper way, then business and only then can business get back to usual. And we will have the shipping get back to usual, your favorite sporting events get back to usual. You know, your theme parks will be open again. Life will get back to usual. But I do think that all of us now are in this together globally. Wherever you're to, we're in this together. And we just have to weather the storm and kind of accept it for what it is. And you know what? Eventually, we'll get back on track. Let's hope it's sooner rather than later. Now, I'm going to check in with you guys here a little bit because I know that you were talking. Um, and I do want to see what you guys have to say. I don't think you sh should be scared. But I think you should respect the situation that we're in. Respect the global environment that we're in. That's what I'm going to say about it. And, you know, some advice has come up, like drinking water, plenty of water every 15 minutes in case you have the, the virus. You know, that's what they're saying. You know, hand washing. Uh, you know, I mean, it's common stuff. Um, I don't get the whole buying all the toilet paper thing. I don't, I don't get it. Um, but, hey, whatever, man, float your boat. Uh, I want the Selects cassette box. Uh, I, I have that on pre-order as well, Jason. The uh, Selects cassettes, they're on pre-order as well. Uh, going down here to everyone. As far as uh, the virus, treat it like any other flu. Yeah, you know, clean, sanitize, carry on. You know, like we got to live our lives, man, but respect what, well, you know, the environment that we're in, right? Did a pre-order because we have stores in NYC. It gets tons of selects. Good. Good on you, Jason. Um, Dennis, I got this uh, news. Tom Review says, try and uh, neck a review for Earthrise Scaling soon. Maybe. I don't, I, I don't watch Tom Tom. He basically, he steals product. I don't watch him. Um, just saying, man. Um, but, you know, if you do, look forward to it, man. Um, they don't get figures early. They have no packaging. They have no instructions. Either they're taking them from factories or somebody's taking them from factories and giving it to them. It's stolen product or it's borrowed product. Call it what it is. Don't say that they, you know, luck in and get it early. They don't. It is what it is. I'm just, I'm not nice about it. That's all. Uh, Alex and happy to see you, buddy. Uh, Collector 75 and honor as always. Uh, they're already upping prices on Legends uh, for fourth quarter. There you go. NASCAR postponed races. There you go. There's another one. Uh, got some toilet paper today. <laughs> I don't get it. And that's like the face mask thing. Like everybody's buying face masks. Look, veterinarians and doctors, they need those face masks. Not you. And everybody's apparently confused. The face mask doesn't protect you from germs. It keeps your germs from getting out. That's the point of it. It's always been the point of it. A doctor in an operating room doesn't wear the face mask to protect them from the patient on the table. They wear the face mask so that they don't get their germs in like an open patient's wound and infect them. I don't get the point of people buying the face masks. Um, use common sense. There you go. Like his wife, who is a... Uh, nurse says, use common sense. Thank you, Grimlock. Uh, going down here. On the good side, the temperature outside was near 80 degrees Fahrenheit today, supposedly to start. I don't know what Fahrenheit, what 80 Fahrenheit is compared to Celsius. I don't know the conversion. Uh, yeah, they don't have no boxes for their ringers. One, agree. Uh, what did Razor Bear one say? Um, I'm only scared because we have <laughs> Trump <laughs> and Pence in charge. <laughs> and on that note, guys, I'm going to take off. This has been a blast, as always. Uh, I'm starting to feel my throat a little bit. You know, I've been talking a lot. Um, it's been great, as always. I appreciate you guys coming in. I love that we get a chance to hang out here a little bit on Thursday night. I hope that heading into Friday and the weekend, you guys have a fantastic weekend again. Happy St. Patrick's Day to each and every one of you. Of course, I'm going to see you right back here again next week. Actually, tomorrow, we do have another review going up. Next week, we'll do the Earth, the small Earthrise lads, the MicroMasters. Um, I had higher hopes. We'll do that Bumblebee I showed earlier. Um, 
and we'll, we'll kind of go back in time a little bit and take a look at somebody from the vault, so to speak. Uh, I appreciate you guys coming by, giving some of your extremely valuable time. If you're in a position to help the channel to grow, hit uh, both hit the subscribe button and use the donate link down in the description. Um, most especially hit the subscribe button because that thing is free. Um, what can I say? Each and every day, somehow, some way, you do make a difference. Absolutely, you do make a difference. And I look for, forward, man, to the next time that you and I get together to have another visit, either right here in the live streams on Thursday nights at the stop motion premieres or the old fashioned way, the way we usually get together inside the videos.